AB2000 plant and crane hire. Try us first for plant and crane hire. This afternoon we're at Troon where Mar take on Campbell's Lang in National Division 3. Mar have got a comfy wee cushion at the top of the table in terms of points. Campbell's Lang are mid-table but a win today would shoot them up there and get them into a promotion slot. So it could be pretty tight here at Fullerton. Skipper Craig Rayside leading out Campbell's Lang. And the weather, well, it's still dry but there's an awful lot of threatening cloud around. And Marr, sitting as I say, top of the table and coached by none other than Craig Redpath, a man with a lot of experience. And early on, good take there by Chris Kirk. Ball out to McGee. McGee over the 10 metre line. Well pleased there by the Cambridge Lang defence. Oh, an awful lot of hands in there after that one. You can't do that, it's a Jake Wilson. Penalty, Canvas Lang, Andy Dick. Bang, nine minutes. Canvas Lang ahead by three points to nil. That certainly stung Marr. Straight back into the attack, into midfield. Gary Thompson up to the 22. Out again to McGee. Bickerstaff. Oh, lovely wee show and dummy by Connor Bickerstaff. Staying in play, right out on the touchline though. A lot of space on this side for Marr. Taking it on in the forwards. And into touch just short of the Cambridge Lang line. Marr keeping up the pressure and debate. Up to Chris Kirk. Oh, nice wee show and take on there. And oh, lots of good hands here from Marr. Inside ball. Oh, look at that. Hey, this isn't sevens, boys. This is 15 aside. Ho, oh, oh. And it all ends up with Connor Bickerstaff knocked into touch. Long ball downfield there for Andy Watson. Inside to Connor Bickerstaff. Bickerstaff having another go. Whoa. Missed there by David Donga. Still Bickerstaff in the ball. Out to Andy Wilson. And inside ball again to McGee. Oh, Mar playing some sparkling rugby here. But this Cambridge Lang defence given very, very little away. And right up onto the line. Over the line, but held up, said referee Jake Wilson. Scrum five. Still inside the red zone. Taken on by Brett Box there for Marr. Now the ball swung out wide for the fast men. Redux to Bickerstaff. Bickerstaff, oh, intercepted there by Pete Kitsokis. And he had 80 yards to go. And nobody was going to lay a finger on him. All the way. And, ho, ho, Cambridge Lang, eight points to nil ahead. And, yeah, the big winger enjoyed that one. Straightforward kick for Andy Dick. 10-0 after 26 minutes. And Mar just in a wee bit of bother here. In a lot of possession, but nothing to show for it. Again, Pickerstaff asking questions of the defence. Going outside one man. Taken by the second man. Oh, no, he's not. He's through again. Great wee offload to Gary Thompson. Taken out by Peter Callaghan, but Marr getting closer and closer to the line. Chris Kirk having a dip there. And the man with his hands in the ball is Barry Kirk and driven over. Jake Wilson right on the spot and try given. Marr on the board. Difficult kick for Rory McGee, but straight through the posts. Ten points to seven to Cambridge Lang with seven minutes to go at a half time. Cambridge Lang looking to increase that lead. We dip there by Andy Dick, just taken out with a tap tackle. Taken on by Martin Thompson, setting it up. Coming back for Alex Bean, moving it out to the left. And flanker, Danny Rawlings getting the ball. Ewan Jones getting a boot to it over the line, claiming the touchdown, but a wee nudge forward by the flanker. And no try. Half-time score, mile seven, Cambus Lang, ten. 
Scrum Magazine. Subscribe online at scrummagazine.com. AB2000 Plant and Crane Hire. Try us first for Plant and Crane Hire. Five minutes into the second half and Mar know they've got to crank up the game if they're going to keep their undefeated record and immediately putting the pressure on the Cambus Lang line. Barry Kirk knocked back there, laying the ball back. Taken on by Don Morrison. Bait. Out to McGee. Sean Reddox. Whoa. Knocked over there by number eight Michael Dick but laying it back again for Barry Kirk to keep the momentum going and referee Jake Wilson spotted a penalty but playing advantage Bait waiting for it to come back out to Redox. we sniff for the line there oh and he beats Colin Tate's tackle to go over for the try to take Marr into a 12 points to 10 lead after five minutes of the second half Another difficult kick for McGee, but straight through the posts again. 14 points to 10. Uh, Cambus Lang weren't going to lie down. Dick out to Peter Callaghan, but the ball stripped off him in the tackle there. Went forward and the Mar line survives and Vickerstaff clears the danger. Have you heard about a game of two halves? Well, this is a game of two seasons. We had Autumn in the first half and Monsoon now in the second. And it's not about fancy handling anymore. It's about getting points on the board. And 57 minutes gone. Rory McGee stretched that lead to 17 points to 10 with that penalty. Good line out still by Mar. Brett Box charging on there. McGee, we flip on. Oh, well taken by Sean Reddox. Opening up the Cambus Lang defence. Great ball out to Bickerstaff. Bickerstaff going for the corner and taken out right on the touchline. Well, who said it wasn't a day for fancy handling? That was great stuff by Marr. Big scrum now. Andrew Bate waiting for that one. Tidied up at the back by Barry Kirk. Cambus Lang, though, hassling the... Marvax, some pretty solid tackles going in there. Johnny Gray putting in a big hit. The ball should be coming back at the Mars side, isn't? And a big blast on the whistle by Jake Wilson. And that's a crucial kick by Rory McGee because 20 points to 10 takes them more than a score ahead of Canvas Lang. And I don't think there's any way the home side were going to let that lead go. Don Morrison through the middle there onto Barry Kirk. Andrew Galt right on his shoulder. Cambers Lang. Defence scrambling a wee bit there. And yet another penalty. Jake Wilson playing a wee tune on his whistle as he leaned back there. Straight in front of the post. 23 points to 10 to Marr with five minutes to go. No way back for Cambers Lang, but there was always the chance of salvaging the bonus point. And hey, good hands again, considering the condition. Chipped through by David Donga. And not quite getting there. And that was the final play of the game. Final score, Ma 23, Cambus Lang 10. That was a battle. We came out really poorly. Really, all the match we didn't front up as we should have for this game. It was a big game for us, but uh, in the end, you just got to... Got to scrape through and take the points, I suppose. <laughs> All credit to both sides for putting on a great display in appalling conditions. But that result leaves Mar top of National 3. Nine points clear of Preston Lodge after 11 games. I think they could still be there at the end of the season. This is Ron Evans for Scottish Rugby Television at Troon.